we're on the uh, middle of an 88,000 foot commercial roof. It has a built up system that had a coating system applied to it in late 2006. We've been asked to come up here and survey this roof and do some repairs uh, for the building owners. So here's what we saw when we got here. So uh, this is a, a six year old system that the roofing report said was touched up and maintained three years ago in 09. So here's what you can see now where you can tell where the, the coating's been, had another coat added to it. And if you look at the rest of the roof adjacent to it, you can see the black emulsion starting to show through. It's like this throughout the whole roof. So now there are several areas that now look like this where the coating has completely peeled away uh, and has left the emulsion exposed. So on top of that, what's happening with the emulsion now is it's cracking and peeling in several places. So if you look here, this is what happens. This roof dries out and just comes apart in huge pieces and they, they've, got, they've got water then underneath this membrane. So these roofs were uh, you know, designed to stay cool keep the roof substrate from moving and cracking and as you can see that this system has failed. The building owner thinks that they have 14 more years left in this roof and there's no way this roof this roof's not going to make it two more years until the, all the black emulsion is exposed. This is why we stress all the time about the reinforcing being in the coating and the perm rating being great it's it's so important when you don't have a perm a great perm rating in your coating this is exactly what you see right here every little bird bath where water sits for any extended period of time meaning 48 hours or more the coating just comes apart and this whole roof has been done like this and you can see this has cost them thousands of dollars and it's getting ready to cost them thousands of dollars more this is why a lot of roof consultants don't like roof coatings because they get, they're getting specs from different people and these specs haven't been proven to work. And we have, we have dozens and dozens and dozens of buildings like this where these systems have been put on and they come apart just like this. And so we're out in the field area of this very same roof now. And as I pan around, you can see that there are dozens and dozens and dozens of these small bird bath areas. So in these areas now, the roof coating is starting to peel or has peeled and is exposing the black emulsion underneath it and if you look here's a, an example right here of a large crack as this stuff heats up and expands and contracts with no expo no uh, no fabric in it this is exactly what happens no poly mesh and there's cracks like this there's dozens of cracks in this roof like this now so if you go over here and look these are in various stages of coming apart Here's an area here where if you look here, it's, it's just starting to peel, so it feels like super rough sandpaper, and right in here that this is just coming up. If you go right next to it, it's a little worse condition, and these areas here have come all the way up, and this is, this is the coating membrane now that's dry coming up, at, which leads to the other part of the video we had where it, sh it exposed the whole black underneath this. So this, this roof is going to be lucky to make it two years. Uh, without causing major problems and there are hundreds of these on this roof right here and guess what none of it's covered by warranty because there's standing water on this coating that's the difference with using an acrylic coating with a poor perm rating and not getting that up front in writing from the manufacturer your sales rep it ends up being on the roofing contractor